Hey everyone, Pastor Brandon here. I'm standing uh, on our property. Robin and I live and we have a portion of the original old Appalachian Trail that runs through our property. Just uh, looking at the beauty of the day. Wanted to share some thoughts with you about while we're distanced from others in the social distancing time, how we can draw close to God. It's an incredible opportunity for us to reset some things. One of the things that I'm going to be doing, and I'd like to encourage you to join me, is to pray through the Lord's Prayer over the next 30 days. Now, I'm not just saying pray through our Father who art in heaven, but to really take time and think about it. I've seen there are five movements in this prayer that can really help us to draw close to God. The first one I see is the one of position. And the second one is we're calling for God's power. The third one is God's provision. The fourth one is we're asking God for pardon. And the fifth one is that we're asking God for protection. But today I want to talk about the first one where we're saying, Our Father in the heavens, holy is your name. We're looking to God as the one whose position is above all things. This is the God of the universe, and he invites us to serve him as his children, to be loved by him, to be received by him, to be accepted by him. So he says, call me father. Come to me like you would a dad who loves you and cares for you. And this God is in the heavens, but he's also as near as the next breath. So when we're talking to God as a father, we're looking to him to be our source, to be our strength, to be our sustainer. You know, the psalmist tells us that God in his holy habitation is a father to the fatherless and a husband to the widow. In other words, God comes close to those who need him most. So if this is a season where you really recognize your need for God, God will come close to you as you come close to him. The psalmist also said, when my heart is overwhelmed, Lord, lead me to the rock that is higher than I am. Today, I want to encourage you, spend time every morning, take 10 minutes, and just go through the Lord's Prayer, uh, phrase at a time, and start off by saying, Father, you're the God of the heavens, and I want your name to be holy in my life. Let me pray with you. Father, we thank you for the opportunity to come and to receive from you that you are indeed a father and you love us and you are near to us and you provide for us. So Lord, help settle us today that we are yours and we can trust you in this time of uncertainty, in this time of difficulty, in this time of challenge, even in this time of fear. We love you, Lord. God bless you. Have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow.